buddy. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck you doing? Whoa. <laughs> so, okay, uh, we have two, we have two destroyers. So, cap A, well, whatever. Cap A, cap B, you know, safe cap. This one's green for purposes of example. Other cap, this one's red for purposes of example. Rocket. So, there's some brown shit in between. Whatever. Thing. Other thing. Sure. Um, so, the long and the short of it was, there are two enemy destroyers. Alright, I found the first one over here. So, we know that. First destroyer is over here. So, there's going to be three spawn points. And there was a destroyer down here. There's one other destroyer on the map, and that destroyer was divved with a Baltimore. So you would assume that the destroyer and the Baltimore are going to be playing together. So if there's a destroyer down here, then the enemy destroyer is either going to be in the mid or going to be on the outside. And is going to have a Baltimore strapped on top of them. So I think you came over and you were looking to, you know, do spotting, potentially whatever the cap. Understand. Cool. You ended up being bow in, which meant that when you got clocked, uh, you know, you tripped across an Ogdevoy. Oh, motherfucker. There ended up being a Baltimore here, another cruiser, another cruiser, a battleship in transition off in the direction, an Ogdevoy. And there's a lot of green ships back here too. But when you're stuck bow in, you got nowhere to go but forward. So that's when it's like, bruh, bruh, you need to leave. You need to leave now. You got to go. You got to turn and get the fuck out now. You can't sit on this. You can't think about it. You have to fucking go now. And that's exactly what you did. You, you fuck it. You turned. You got out. You beached. Whatever. You bailed. Awesome. Well, this left a problem because now all of this area was dark all of this area was not lit because all these ships are back here or whatever. So Luis uh, moved forward in the Lennon, I think, to get some spotting. And that's when I was saying, hey, can you get some spotting on this? When that happened, the question was, how do you spot? So if you've got an enemy Baltimore that you know is right here, that Baltimore is going to radar out to 10 kilometers or something. So if it turns out that you can't touch the cap, you don't touch the cap. It's okay. Fuck, we'll get it later. It's fine. So when you're coming over here, you went back directly into it. Like, okay, I'll go back into the cap. That's going to put you directly into the radar of the Balti and potentially the Indianapolis that was hanging out. Although I think that's only a seven and a half click radar, which is what happened. You got radar and shot again. So in this case, if you want to give spotting, you go to the safe side. You go all the way over here where potentially you can see this dude. And if he moves up, you back up. If he moves back, you can move forward. If You don't even have to touch the cap. The cap doesn't even exist right now because this whole cap is covered by radar. Like this is danger zone bullshit. Do not enter. Um, Luis came in, kind of threw down, took a bunch of shots, backed up, did whatever he did. Y you smoked him, maybe that helped him stay alive for a bit. But when you took this line, this line was extremely dangerous because now you are deep in the radar of a Baltimore with legit like a ship here, a ship here, a ship here, a ship here. I mean, all kinds of fire from all kinds of different angles like that scary as fuck. If you wanted to spot, you had to spot safely. And if it meant that you didn't see everything, well, son of a bitch, that's life. You know, you're just going to have to deal with it or you have to completely bail on the flank and then come down here. But we had so much stuff. We had so many assets in this area, just like sitting there, that this is the place to spot. And when it just wasn't working out for you, that meant that I came over and I just started lolling around in the center here trying to spot. So we had Luis that was getting some information. You had to turn out and run because of radar. And I was trying to give some information too. And that started getting shells on target. Stuff was getting done. People were doing the things. But it was this aggressive move and like not... It was the move, but also the move combined with trying to cap that was like, oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. I don't know about this, man. That's where the uh, that's where the panic came from.